these bottles here I'm just going to show you how to put the foot on it still a bit damp but I'm uh, glazing today so I'm just doing it between swapping <coughs> glazes bucket, buckets over I've got it um, just got it propped up on a couple of spun bits of sponge here but you can use bits of clay these were just to hand <coughs> got the uh, ring of clay here this was what we threw what, what I threw yesterday on the on the wheel and you just lift it off like that place it down and uh, it's got a slight chamfer on it when you throw it throw it in a slight cone shape makes it look a bit neater <coughs> excuse me coughing <coughs> right we just need to offer it up to the base Roughly mark the circumference of the <coughs> of the uh, <coughs> oh, excuse me <laughs> trouble speaking uh, the bottom of the pot. I can find my knife. Searching for it. Did it once. There you go. My workshop's always a mess, but when I'm, um, when I'm glazing as well, I found a little flat bit there that I can get rid of by putting the base a bit further around, so that's it. Okay, so we just uh, trim this round. A bit wider that side. I'll try a bit more off there. <coughs> a little bit too much. Quite soft this base here, so we just smooth a bit in. Okay, so that's the base on there. Can you see it? Slip. Scratch that. Put some slip on. it battles and forwards until it bites. Make sure it's square. <coughs> Let's place a coil of clay on the uh, on the inside of this foot. Smooth it in. <clears throat> I'm doing this a lot quicker than I normally would because. Uh, it can be quite tedious having to watch all this going off, but <coughs> someone's asked me to show you, so there we go. Sponge that wring as much out as you can. Let me get it too wet. Just 
just go around the outside. have it. Make sure it's square if you look at it from the sideways on. Make sure it's square. And it's the finished bottle with the base. <coughs> 